Okay guys, we're going to be looking at this Newton's Law question from the grade 12, November 2016 examination, paper 1. And this question is suitable for grade 11 and grade 12 learners. So, question 2, a learner constructs a push toy by con using two blocks with masses 1.5 kg and 3 kg respectively. The blocks are connected by a massless inextensible cord. The learner then applies a force of 25 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees to the 1.5 kg block. So if we look at this diagram, we can actually see that there's a force at an angle. And one important thing for us to remember guys, if I've got to draw a free body diagram for the 1.5 kg block, there's going to be this force pushing it at an angle. And this force has components component, a horizontal x component, and a vertical y component. And that is very important when we are working with forces at an angle to understand that any force at an angle can be resolved into components. Okay, and uh, we continue reading the question. Uh, they tell us that the force of 25 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees to the 1.5 kg block by means of a light rigid rod causing the toy to move across a flat rough horizontal surface as shown in the diagram. The coefficient of kinetic friction mu k between the surface and each block is 0,5. So that means that mu k, the coefficient here, and the coefficient here is the same. First question they ask us is to state Newton's second law of motion in words. And we know this, this is a definition. Question 2.1, calculate the magnitude of the kinetic friction acting on the 3 kilo block. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to draw a free body diagram for showing all the forces that act on the 3 kg block. It is very important to draw a free body diagram because this is going to help us to visualize all the forces acting on the block and then we can use that in our calculation. So here's our 3 kilo object. And we know that we have a downward force Fg, the gravitational force on the object. And we also have the normal, which is a force that the floor exerts upward, perpendicular to the surface. We know that we have this tension between the two blocks. And there's friction, which is always against motion. So friction would be to the left. Now, to find the magnitude of the kinetic friction force, we're going to use our equation, which is friction equals the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k times the normal. We are given the mu k, so that's 0, 0,15, and now we need to substitute the normal. In this question, we can clearly see that the normal is equal to Fg. So I'm going to work that out on the side. We're going to say normal equals Fg. And we know that we can calculate Fg by taking the mass times 9,8. And that's going to give us 3 times 9,8. Put that into the calculator. And we get 29,4. We're now going to substitute that into our equation, 29,4. Put that into our calculator again, and we will get an answer of 4,41 newtons for the friction that acts on the 3 kg block. Now, when you are being marked on this in the examination, you will get a mark for your formula, provided you substitute into the formula. You would get a mark for correctly substituting your normal and mu k, and the final answer with the correct units. Okay, they now ask us to sketch a diagram or draw a diagram, a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 1.5 kg block. So here's my 1.5 kg block. We know that we have Fg acting downwards. We also know that we've got the normal perpendicular to the surface. There is a force at an angle, 
a 25 newton force which we can call the applied force we also know that the 3 kilo pulls this object to the left you would notice that the 3 kilo object the tension on the 3 kilo is to the right and therefore the tension on the 5 kilo would be in the opposite direction it would be to the left All right um, we also have friction acting on this object so we need to show that in our diagram as well and that would be our friction they now ask us to find the kinetic friction on the 1.5 kg block so once again we're going to use the same equation we're going to say friction is equal to mu k times the normal mu k they had told us earlier on in the question they had said that the coefficient of kinetic friction between the surface and each block is 0 0.15 so I'm going to substitute 0 0.15 and we need to find the normal now guys what is very important to understand it is your free body diagram that's going to help us to get our normal we could see in the first example the normal was equal to fg however in a case like this when we have a force acting at an angle okay i'm going to redraw this diagram to show the components and you would see that we have fg the force has an x component to the right and it has a y component downwards and then we would have the normal friction and tension this second diagram which I've drawn is a very important diagram because it shows that you've resolved your force into components and it also shows the forces that we need to use here. So now when we are calculating the normal, we would say the normal plus Fg plus the y component of F needs to give us zero. So I'm going to choose a direction positive, upper positive. The normal is unknown so we would not substitute a direction plus fg is negative so negative 1.5 times 9,8 the formula for the y component we can see that the y component is also downward so it's negative the formula is f sine theta and in this case theta is 30 and this would give us zero when we put that into our calculator and solve for the normal force we would get an answer of 27,2 newtons. We're now going to take that into our equation, 27,2. And that is how we would solve for friction. So 27,2 times 0, 0,15 gives us 4,08 newtons. And the last part of the question, they ask us to calculate the tension in the cord between the two blocks. They want the tension in the cord between the two blocks. Now when we are working with a question like this, then we need to work with both our blocks together and solve simultaneously. So I'm going to very quickly um, bring in the free body diagrams that we used. Okay, so I'm going to very quickly um, redraw the other free body diagram. What we can see here is our free body diagram for the 1.5 kg. So that is done. And I need another diagram for the 3 kg. So I'm just going to draw it again. We drew it earlier, as you can see um, at the top. But I'm now just going to scroll up a bit because I need some space. And I'm going to redraw it here. So for the 3 kg we know that we had the normal and we know that we had fg we had the tension in the string and we had some friction to the left okay now one important thing that we know is so the tension that we have in the 3 kg is equal to the tension in the 1.5 kg because it's actually the same string that connects the two of them together However, the magnitude may be equal, but the direction is opposite. So if whatever the tension that we get here, that would be equal to negative the tension that we get for the 3 kg. So the tension in the 1.5 
is equal to negative whatever the tension is in the 3 kg because we know from Newton's third law they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get an expression for a tension using the 1.5 kg and the 3 kg and we're going to start by using Newton's second law of motion which says that the net force is equal to ma and by looking at our free body diagram we can actually see all the forces that make up the net force so that would be our friction plus tension plus the x component of f equals ma I'm choosing a direction positive I'm going to choose to the right positive or you could choose clockwise positive friction we had already calculated in the previous question let's go have a look at that here we go for the 1.5 kg we calculated earlier the friction of 4,08 so whatever answer you had calculated you bring that down and substitute so we're going to substitute negative 4,08 plus t plus fx which is to the right and we know the formula for the x component is f which is 25 cos theta and that will give us ma so 1.5a we're going to rearrange that to solve for t and we would get 1.5a minus 17,57 and that gives us the tension of the 1.5 kg I'm now going to do a similar thing for the 3 kg the net force is equal to ma we can see the forces acting on the 3 kg are friction plus tension equal ma I'm now going to substitute for friction we had calculated it earlier in 2.2 as 4.41 and it is negative because it is to the left so negative 4.41 tension we will leave as a positive because it's an unknown mass is 3 and acceleration we do not know rearranging this equation we end up with tension equals 3a plus 4.41 so according to what we had said earlier the tension in the 1.5 which it would be 1.5a minus 17 comma 57 will give us negative whatever the tension is in the 3 kg I'm now going to substitute always be careful substitute in brackets because of that negative sign there so the tension in the 3 kg we can see is 3a plus 4,41 so this would allow me now to solve for a get rid of those brackets and you would end up with an answer of a equals 2,92 meters per second squared and now to solve for tension all I need to do is substitute this into either equation so I'm going to substitute it and say that the tension is equal to 3 into 2,92 plus 4.41 and we end up with an answer of 13,17 newtons. Okay guys, I hope this was of some help to you. Don't forget to share these videos with, with as many friends of yours as you can so that more people can benefit from these lessons.